Hi lovelies, welcome back to another Watch Me Work video. So today we are doing this pink stiletto acrylic full set with some bling and some glitter. But before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to my notification squad. I'm doing six shout outs today, three from my last video and three from the video before that because I accidentally forgot to include it in the last upload. So these are the first three people to comment on my last two uploads. If you want to be part of the notification squad, definitely click on that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss out whenever your girl drops a new video. So because you guys are going to be seeing this throughout the video, I wanted to address it. This is a greenie, but as you guys can see, my client did split her entire natural nail across the center. So I do need to fix it. So after she soaked it off, she realized that water started to get in and that is the reason for the color so i did treat this nail with my antifungal drop so i leave the drop on that nail to set while i went in and prepared the rest of the nails and then i came back to this one so now i'm you see me here i'm doing all my cuticle work and because that split is so far down that i can't completely cut it off i need to go in and seal that nail to prevent any more water from getting in so i do use my silk wrap to do this so i just cut a piece of silk wrap wide enough to fit from sidewall to sidewall and then i went in with my silk scissors removed any excess and sealed that in with my macart brush or nail glue so I do allow the nail glue to completely dry and then I'm going in with my 180 grit hand file and I'm going to blend that silk wrap in. Now you do need to make sure that there are no shiny spots just as if you were preparing the natural nail because then you could cause an air pocket or lifting in the middle of your acrylic or anywhere that that shiny spot is it's going to cause the acrylic to lift and we don't want that. So after repairing that nail, I went in off camera, I applied my tips, I did cleanse the nail with my 99% alcohol and now I'm going in with my first coat of primer. I'm going to allow this to completely dry and then I'm going to go in with my second coat of primer. As you guys know, once I'm doing an acrylic full set, I do like to lay down a thin layer of clear acrylic and this is just so that when my client comes back in for an infill, I do have something to file down to instead of actually filing down and touching my client's natural nails. And for my application today, I am using my Alpha Number no. 12 Oval Kalinsky brush, which has become a new favorite of mine, if you guys have not noticed. And if you're interested, I would leave my affiliate Alpha link in the description box below for those of you who want to get your hands on this amazing brush. I really do stand by Alpha brushes. Like, if you guys look back on my channel, I've been using Alpha brushes for a while. Now I'm going in with Cover Blush by JC Beauty Concepts. I'm going to be creating a diagonal smile line. But I'm going to make sure that my cuticle area is nice and flush and I'm going to start pulling that bead up the nail. So I just want the acrylic to be thick enough so that I can go up against that nude with some glitter. So what I'm doing here is I'm just leaving the acrylic like midway up the nail and then I'm going to go in with my carving knife and I'm going to cut out right where I want the diagonal to be. So I did dip my blade in that same nude acrylic powder and while that acrylic is still wet, I went in and just cut that line. So what I did is I did go back in with a small bead of my nude acrylic powder just behind where I cut because I found that it wasn't thick enough. So after doing that, I did allow this nail to set. I went in with my 100 grit hand file and I did sharpen up that line. I'm laying down a thin layer of my clear acrylic and as this acrylic is still wet, I'm going to press my pink iridescent glitter mix into it. Now this glitter mix is gorgeous and it's actually from a collection 
by the veronica shop and as you guys know i do have a coupon code as well as an affiliate link for you guys and i will share that in my description box below these colors are stunning i have them all except the yellow because i think when i went to get the entire collection the yellow was sold out now i didn't want this glitter to be spread out to see through the nail i wanted it to look like a cluster of glitter so every time i laid down a layer of glitter well not the glitter first every time i laid on a layer of clear acrylic i went on top of it with some of the glitter still remembering to keep it nice and thin because i do have to go in and encapsulate this nail and while i'm encapsulating i am going to go in and build up my apex because of the length of this nail i do need to make sure that my apex is in the correct place as well as thick enough to support the length of these nails because these are not full length nail tips but not too far from the full length and i was so excited to do long stiletto nails it's been two months since i did stiletto nails oh my gosh i feel so out of it and i was so happy to break that cycle of strictly coffin or tapered square nails So for the pinky nail on her opposite hand, I decided to do a V-shaped smile line instead. Yes, I'm switching it up a bit. So what I'm doing, I'm going in with the same nude acrylic powder, making sure my cuticle area is nice and sealed in. And work that acrylic past the point to where I want the V to go. When I work it past the point, it just makes it easier when I start cutting into the acrylic that everything sits right where I want it to. So going in with my blade dipped in my powder again now what i realized is that the nude was not high enough for me to get that nice crisp v so now i'm going in really quickly with another bead making sure that it's thick enough and i'm going to immediately cut into this acrylic so because the acrylic on the need was not fully set i could have done this and still went in and cut out that v shape and got a nice clean cut without any issues of my acrylic hardening up too quickly on me so if it is that you realize that something is going to be wrong and you can fix it with some acrylic especially with these cut out designs definitely go in immediately if you need to add more acrylic powder do so very quickly and then just cut away before the bottom layer starts to set and after i was happy with the way that the cut out looked i did decide to go back in with my 100 grit hand file and just redefine that v shape before going in with my glitter so i'm going to do the exact same thing that i did with the glitter on the other hand and press it into the layers of clear acrylic until i'm happy with it and i'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the entire nail
on her ring finger on this hand and the index finger on the opposite hand we're going to create a glitter ombre so i am using the same pink acrylic powder and i'm going to be fading this from the cuticle all the way to the free edge of the nail but i am making sure that the cuticle area is more opaque than the tip of the extension because i want that glitter to give off a more opal effect rather than a clear tip I really hope that makes sense so basically what I'm doing is I'm using the excess acrylic just to tint that tip to give it a baby pink sort of look so when I go in with my iridescent glitter it gives off a more opal look seeing as the background of my glitters are not clear but it has like a base behind it after I'm happy with my fade I am going to start laying down that glitter into that wet pink acrylic or if it is that I need to go in with some clear acrylic then I'll do that and start pressing the glitter in the exact same way that we've been doing it throughout the entire set so the ring finger on the opposite hand I'm going to reverse it so that cuticle area is going to have the glitter and the tip of the nail is going to be pink after I do that I do allow the clear with the glitter to set and then I go in and encapsulate both nails So on two fingers on each hand, I am going to be creating an ombre using this pink acrylic powder. You guys already know how I create my ombres. It's the same way. I place that colored acrylic right where the free edge of the natural nail meets the extension. And then I start working that color all the way to the tip of the extension. I do allow it to completely dry before going in with my nude acrylic powder to create that ombre. And if you guys are interested in seeing a more dedicated, slow down, step-by-step -step video as to how I do this, I will leave that video in the cards on the screen. And I will also link it in my description box below. For those of you who are interested, you can go ahead and check that video out.
after my acrylic was set i did go in off camera i filed shaped and buffed and now i'm just going to lay down my crystals so i am using my mccart gem gel to do this and i'm sealing them in with my madam glam's no wipe gel top coat so that is it for this set i hope you guys enjoyed it if you stuck with me to this point go ahead and leave me this emoji with your comments in the comment section below give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed you know what to do go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below and while you're there why not join the notification squad by clicking on the bell icon right next to that big red button you can't miss it I hope you guys are enjoying these V-Day inspired sets. I know this one had no hearts, no lips, no exos, no nothing. But because it was pink, it was considered Valentine's Day. My client didn't want any hearts or anything on her nails. So I still got to do pink for you guys. So I really and truly hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. And I hope you're having an amazing Sunday afternoon. It's hot and bright here and I really wish that today I could have gone on the beach because it was so hot and it was just perfect for that. But unfortunately, I did not. But I still had an amazing Sunday. So I hope you are having one as well. After top coating this nail, I had to pause. Oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. Like look at that opal look. It's exactly what I had in my mind and seeing it come to life with that top coat is just amazing. So I didn't include the thumbnails in this video because again I forgot to press that record button which is oh I can like <laughs> but this is what her thumbnails look like both nails are the exact same thing so I decided as I was top coating it to just include it so you guys can have an idea as to what her thumbs look like. So for the effects of this nail, what I had in mind, my client really didn't understand clearly what I was doing. So it was like supposed to be rhinestones dripping down this nail. But because I did the tip before I actually did the cluster around the cuticle area, she wasn't feeling it. So I decided to go in and cluster up the entire cuticle area with my crystals and microbeads and she was totally blown by that so she preferred it that way which is fine because sometimes we as nail techs have an idea in our heads and yes i drew it out on paper but she still didn't have that clear view of it so once she's happy with the nails on her hands i'm happy with what i created for her and everybody's happy then that's all that really matters to me so i am going to allow you guys to watch the rest of this video i'm going to take my exit now i hope you continue to have an amazing sunday afternoon and as always i would love for you guys to stay glamorous be safe and i'll see you soon